guys, it's Christy with Gone Adventuring Pilates. Thanks for tuning in today. We have got a fun little session planned on the mat using your Fitball. I gather that that is like a favorite prop for a lot of people, um, just judging by the feedback that I get on Instagram posts. So I am taking a lot of inspiration from some of my favorite just different moves um already done on on my Instagram page and um also inspired by the Pilates community and kind of combining them today into a little fun sequence okay so you're going to need your fitball you need to have your mat as well and we are going to use uh, a theraband you want your theraband to be long like slightly taller than you is perfect and you would want like a medium to lightweight um, resistance not too too heavy Okay, the other thing that I'm going to be using today, and you can or can't, um, depending on the size of your ball. My football is quite large. Um, I, I can't tell you the size of it, but it's kind of like the largest size they come. So um, for one of two of the things that we're going to be doing, um, it, it's a little bit pref preferable. I can't get my hands all the way to the floor and you'll understand why in a little bit. Um, if you don't have a box, this box comes from the reformer. I suggest just using a household chair. Okay. That works perfectly fine. Um, for one of the things that we're going to do, you will need the chair for the other, um, exercise we're doing. Um, if your ball is slightly smaller than mine and you can get your hands to the floor, then perfect. That's all you need. So, um, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but it will in a second. <laughs> So don't worry, just grab your football, your mat, your therapy end, and let's get moving, okay? So come around to the front of your ball, and you're going to sit down onto your ball. From here, I want you to get your feet, step your feet into your strap, bring your strap down on the floor, whoops, just to make sure that you've got even ends of your strap on both sides, yeah? And then bring your feet um, like sit bones apart or hips apart, okay? And then from here, what I want you to do is you're going to lift your seat off, bring it down towards the floor, and then lean your whole back against the ball, okay? So I'm not seated on the floor. My hips are floating over, but my whole back is pressing against the ball here, okay? So hold on to the edges of your strap, and we're just going to start with a little bit of extension, um, wrapping our spine out over that ball. You're gonna extend your legs straight, lift your arms up towards the ceiling and wrap your spine out over the ball. Look all the way back, chin to chest, bend your knees, round it forward. And lifting up. If you feel this is too much on the front of your neck, you can always just keep your chin tucked like so, okay? Or you can go, all the way back. So really lifting those hands up to the ceiling. And, a, and according to how strong your resistance is, you might be able to lift your hands all the way up overhead. Just make sure that your feet don't lose the band, right? You gotta keep that band underneath your feet. Roll it back, squeeze your glutes, lengthen the legs, pull your kneecaps up, keep your feet pressing down. We go for two more and really wrap your spine out over that ball. So open your chest here. And that was your last one. Okay, choke up slightly higher, not too much on your band. And from here, you're gonna kind of wiggle yourself a little bit farther down to your hips are almost touching that mat, okay? So from here, we're gonna lift our hips, go back, can you get your head supported onto the ball, yeah? If you can't, you might wanna come down at the start a little bit further down, okay? Arms pull out wide to your sides, head on the ball, hips press up, and lower down. And arms pull out wide, hips up, and down. One more time, hold it here. Just the hips go down, press up. Hips down, press up. As the arms are pulling out on the strap, you have six, down, five, down, four, down, three, down, two, down, one. Bring your hips down, chin to chest, roll it forward. Okay, you can drop your hands and bring the strap all the way down. 
From here, you're going to roll yourself and come back up to seated onto your ball. Here is where, depending on the size of your ball, we're going to bring our low backs onto the top of the ball and your hands can either go on the floor, so you can see for me it's way too far away, or can go onto a chair or a box behind you, okay? Or even like an ottoman. And if it's a chair, the chair would be higher. You could always put your elbows on the chair. From here, I want you to lift one leg up to tabletop, the other leg to tabletop. Squeeze your knees together. Make sure that you are squeezing those knees together. Open your chest. Make sure you're not here, okay? Don't bury the chest. Lift the heart. Press your hands down. Lift out of your shoulders. You're going to inhale. Extend the legs to 45. Exhale, pull the knees in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull in. Extend. Pull in. Extend. Pull in. Now you're going to extend the legs straight up towards the ceiling. Bend the knees. Straight up and bend. If this is too hard and you have really tight hamstrings, just keep sending your legs out to a 45, okay? No problem. Here we go. Extend the legs up, keep them here. Flex the feet, externally rotate your legs. Open wide, point the toes and close. Open, point and close. Open, point and close. Open, close, open, close. From here, I want you to try and open the left leg only, close. Right leg only, close. So you're challenging your balance over that ball, already on an unstable surface. Left out and close. Don't roll off the ball. And close. Last one to the left. Last one to the right. Bend your knees in towards your chest. Regain yourself here. Recenter. From here, we're going to scissor the legs up. One up, one out. L left leg goes up, right leg out. Knees bend into chest. Alternate. Right up, left out. Knees to chest. Left up, right out. Knees to chest. Scissor. Knees in. Scissor. Knees in. Scissor. Knees in. Keep trying to lift up and out of the shoulders. So don't sag. Don't bury the chest. That's it. Last two. Last one. Knees in. From here, you're going to lift your legs up towards the ceiling. We lower them down. Open circle back up to the top. Lower down. Open circle wide. Knees into the chest. Take a breath. The legs go back up. We're going to reverse those circles. You only have two. Legs go up and we open wide. Circle around and down and lift up. I forgot which direction. Open, circle around, lift up, bend it in. And guess what? You guys did it, okay? So carefully bring yourself back up seated on top of that ball, okay? Stand it up, come around to the back of your ball, and I want you to sit on to your chair or your box here, okay? From here, you're gonna let the ball be a little far away from you because you wanna start with the bottoms of your feet onto the ball, okay? So put your feet up on the ball, feet together, legs together. Hands go onto the front edge of your chair or your box, fingers facing forward. We're gonna lift our hips up, straighten the arms, straighten the legs. That's it. All right, we're gonna start just like this. I want you to pull your hips back through your arms and then reach your legs forward, lift your hips up. Pull your hips back through and lift them up. And pull through, roll the ball away, lift them up. One more time, pull through, roll the ball away, lift them up. Come back to your hips being lowered, but don't sit down. Bend your knees, pull the ball in, extend the legs long. Bend and straighten, bend and straighten. Dig your heels down into the ball. This will help you maintain your center line and you won't start going left to right. Here we go. 
bend it in. You're going to take your right leg off, extend it straight out, and bend and straighten, alternating the legs. Does that make sense? You can see what's happening. Here we go. Bend in, both feet on the ball, and straighten that left leg out in front of you. Whew, I can feel this one's gonna be harder. And alternate, bend and straighten. That right foot is strong, pressing down into the ball. Don't fall into your shoulders. Keep pressing up and away from the shoulders. Bend your knee, both feet on, sit it back. Bring your feet down onto the mat. You did it, you made it, good job. <laughs> okay, so from here, we're going to stand it up, come around to the front of your ball. I'm gonna bring the ball all the way back. And if you have a chair or your box, let's just slide it away, okay? So we don't, we don't cheat, it doesn't hold the ball for us. <laughs> You're gonna bring your hands down onto the mat. And I just put one foot back so I can kind of gently bring my knees down on to the mat and my feet, the tops of my feet up onto my ball. That makes sense? That makes sense? All right. Bring my hands slightly forward of my shoulders here. Make sure I have enough space. Let's move forward just a little bit, okay? Because we are gonna be lifting up into plank and at that point, you need to make sure when you stretch your legs back, your chair's not gonna be in your way. All right, from here, I want you to squeeze your legs together, squeeze your knees together. Take an inhale with an exhale, press your feet down into the ball, lift your knees. Good, and lower. That's all we're doing, just lifting our knees, okay? Spread your collarbones wide, shoulders down, lift your knees. Lower them down. And three more, lift your knees, pull your belly up and down. Again, lift your knees and down. Don't lift your hips, lift your knees. Lift your knees and down. Does that make sense? Yeah, you don't wanna just stick your butt up. You want your belly to lift you up, okay? With this one, we're gonna lift our knees and straighten our legs back out into a plank. Take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift your knees, straighten your legs. Good, you're here. Stay here. We're gonna do a shoulder blade push-up. So sink down into your shoulders, lift up. Sink and lift. Chest down and forward, lift up and away. Forward, up and away. Forward, up and away. One more. Forward, up and away. Bend your knees in, bring them down. Okay, so do you guys know what's happening when we're doing this with our shoulders, right? We're protracting our shoulders out and retracting the shoulders. Okay, so imagine if you had a pencil, you're trying to pinch it behind your shoulder blades and then you're pushing away and, and letting it go. Okay, does that make sense? So that's really great to practice just as much as your regular push-ups, okay, for shoulder strength. All right, my ball's slipping away from me with my socks. Okay, so we're gonna go back up into our plank and do some knee pulls. You're gonna squeeze the legs together. Inhale to repair. Exhale, lift your knees up. Straighten the legs back. Here we go. Knees under and straighten. I'm not changing my spine. I'm keeping the spine straight as I pull the knees under and straighten back. Three and two. Last one. Squeeze your glutes. Pull your knees in. Bring them down. One foot down the other foot down and bring yourself up whoops, onto your knees, okay? So, you made it through that one. <laughs> All right, you're going to grab your strap for this one, turn around to face your ball, roll it towards you, and you're going to come out onto your pelvis, okay? Keep your feet back behind you in contact with the mat legs straight and strong. And then go ahead and hold onto your strap, shoulder distance apart. So from here, you're gonna keep your left hand down on the mat as your right arm reaches up along by your ear, pulling against that strap, and then right hand down. Left hand up and down. Right arm up and down. Really trying to pull that arm 
back behind your head. Not quite so easy. Sounds like it should be really easy. Okay, depends on your shoulder flexibility. And lifting. And lower. Lift and lower. There we go. My left shoulder is like so much less flexible and so much more tight than my right one, especially today for whatever reason. One more on each side. Lift, lower down, lift, lower it down. Come back on to your knees. Good. Turn to your right with the ball at your left hip, okay? You're going to get your right foot into the middle of your strap. Hang on to the strap with your right hand. You're gonna lean, really get that ball against your left hip so that you can then lean over the ball, okay? Um, but you're still pretty upright. So that's why I wanted you to pinch the ball in towards you, okay? I just am gonna hang on to the ball like so. You can bring this hand down over your ball onto your floor. We're gonna lift up this top leg, lift your band nice and taut, and I want you to really reach that leg out against the band, okay? From here, we're gonna go down, lift, down, lift. Keep the leg in just a slight external rotation, so not overly rotated, but you can open the hip, okay? And go for four, three, pull the abs in, two, last one, hold it up, swing it forward, reach it back behind you, forward, reach it back. Try and keep your right arm in the same place in space. So there's resistance in that strap as you go both directions. Last two, and last one. Good, bring your leg down, step your foot out of it. Let's go ahead and just walk with our um, knees, <laughs> so they are feet. Walk with our knees around to the other side, okay? So your ball is on your right side, step your foot into the middle of your strap, grab a hold of it with your left hand, Really wedge that ball into your right hip. Lay yourself out over it, lifting up. We're gonna lower and lift. Down and up. That's it. Good. Draw your belly button back towards your spine. So often in a sideline position, I find we can forget about our abs and kind of dump them forward. Make sure you're not dumping them. <laughs> lift them up and in. Away from your T-shirt and your clothing, okay? One more time, lift it up. Swing forward, swing it back. Forward and back. This is great for hip strength and mobility. And back for three, keep that arm strong. Two, one more. Back, bring it in line with you. Let it come down, bend it in. Take that strap off. You can put the strap back behind you. We'll use it one more time, but not for this next one. Bring the ball back in front of you. Turn to face your chair or your box. Um, yeah, you can use a chair for this. It will work, okay? So for here, what I want you guys to do is I want you to lay yourselves out over the ball onto your stomach. You're going to push yourself forward Bring your hands onto the top of your chair or your box. And I'm gonna let my knees just like naturally bend here. I'll pull my box a little bit closer. Keep the arms straight. We're gonna work into an extension, okay? So here I'm nice and just rounded. The spine is relaxed over the ball. Take an inhale to prepare with an exhale. Start to draw yourself forward with your arms. Lift your legs, squeeze them together, straighten them, and lift the chest up and then push yourself away. Let the knees bend and let your spine round back over the ball. Yeah, makes sense? All right, here we go. Ready? Pulling forward. So I do bend the elbows to get myself to start to come through and then lift up away from my shoulders 
and then lower down and wrap over. So this is nice because we get to work from a gentle flexion in the spine into a strong extension, but where the ball is acting now more as an assist to bring us into that extension and then to give us that nice sort of release coming back into a soft flexion. Drawing through, strong in the arms, pull the heart through your biceps, lift your low belly up, squeeze the glutes, lower it down. When you're up in that extension, you guys make sure that you're trying to reach your legs away from you and up, okay? So if they're dropped down, we're not really getting that much extension into the spine. We're just kind of, kind of creating a teeter-totter. One more time here. Lift it up and just enjoy this. Really lift, 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 hold in that position and lower it all the way down. Round over that ball, come on to your knees, let go of that chair, and then bring your hands on top of your ball and press yourself up to being on your knees, okay? So from here, let's see, the last thing I wanna do today is one more extension. You're gonna need to have a wall that you can put your feet against, or at least something that's not gonna move on you, okay? So grab your strap. I'm gonna lift up here and just scooch my mat in a little closer towards the wall. I'm gonna bring my knees down on my mat, my ball's in front of me. I'm placing my feet flat against the wall behind me, if you can see that. And then I have my heels together and my toes apart, okay? That was a lot of information. <laughs> bring your ball into you right at your thighs. You're gonna hang on to your strap just a little wider than your shoulder width. Here we go. Lay yourself out over your ball and let your spine just round over here, okay? And then just pop your, um, your knees up off of the mat, okay? So it's not pressing on the mat, but your feet are against the wall here. Let your chin touch your ball to start. Take a big inhale, exhale, push into the wall, straighten your legs, lift your arms up overhead. Pull out against this strap, circle it back behind you. You can bend your knees to find a greater flexion. Circle your arms up, back overhead. Reach your body straight out like an arrow, and then round all the way over. And here we go, reaching, whoops, my ball was rolling on my strap. Straight, lift it up, pull out on that strap with those arms. Extend back. You can bend here if you get a greater extension in the spine. Straighten and round over. And again, reaching forward first. Lift with the arms and the chest up and back. Reaching back out and round it over. Let's go two more. Reach and circle back. Really pull out on that strap with your arms. And last one, sorry for all the noise that the ball likes to make. Pressing on it, reach up and really pull out on that strap. Reach, hold this arrow, squeeze and wrap the backs of your legs together and circle and round down and over. Just take a moment, bring your hands underneath your forehead, rest your head down. And just let your spine melt down over the ball. Take a breath. And when you guys are ready, drop your strap, bring your hands on top of your ball. And then you can just lift up and come to seated on your ball. Why not, right? Because you guys are done, okay? So I hope you had fun, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, just a quick little session fun combination of different things that we sometimes see in segments alone by themselves. So just kind of strung some fun stuff together for you and I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, let me know what you think. I love to get your comments and I'll try and um, respond and then give me ideas of more of what you want to see. And make sure you um, subscribe to my channel, okay? So thanks so much guys, have a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye.
If you guys liked this video and you want to see more, I invite you to come to my website at goneadventuringpilates.com and register for free. The link is in the description of this video. Join me for more adventures and let's have fun moving together.